In the process of learning how to invest our money, it's important not to rush into a decision. So the question then becomes, where do I put my money as I wait to educate myself in a specific investment? The answer to this is a high yield savings account. Hi, I'm Naveed Hawk. I am a technical solutions engineer at IBM by day and by night. I am a YouTuber making videos on personal finance, tech, and other ways to make our lives more productive and fulfilling. Of course, from my perspective. Now, in today's video, we're gonna learn about high yield savings account. Now, this isn't a form of investment. This is just a way to dampen the effect of inflation, which happens in any productive economy. Additionally, it's an important note that a high yield savings account doesn't serve as a checking account or a debit account that you're probably more familiar with. And I'll go into more details as to what the difference is. One important thing to note when it comes to a high yield savings account is the concept of an APY, which an APY stands for annual percentage yield. It's essentially the interest that occurs on your initial deposit. So it can help you grow your money. And over time, it increases more and more and more. So essentially, it's a great way to make money by doing literally nothing outside of just letting your money sit there. Some of the big financial benefits that I wanna share with you when it comes to a high yield savings account are really two things. One is that higher APIs are always going to be better. Well, a high yield savings account generally offers a significant higher interest rate than your traditional saving accounts. That means you can earn more on your money and meet your saving goals much faster. And if you don't use them at all, you'll know that your money is at least combating inflation a little bit better. Number two is no or low fees. See, a high yield savings account tends to come with no monthly fees and low fees for things like having a non-sufficient funds. That's especially so with high yield savings accounts found at online banks such as Ally. In short, a high yield savings account is a way for you to make some money by doing absolutely nothing, which is generally what most of us really want to achieve. Now, the criteria that I'm going to follow are gonna be very similar to Graham Stevens' video, which I'll link here. In his video, he criteria is based on three elements. One being that it must be verified, so you're not putting in your life savings or money into something that isn't really backed by others. In my video, all these banks were referenced and found on bank rate.com. Number two is that all these banks must be available in all of the United States because I know my viewers are all over the place, at least hopefully in the future they will be more so than just Texas, so it can also be applicable to you. And then number three, it must be FDIC insured, which I think this is the element that is most important because you don't want to put your money into something that doesn't have some form of insurance. And if you're not familiar with FDIC, well, this is what it is. It essentially insures your money up to two $250,000, and in some cases, a million dollars, depending on the banks, but it's insured by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. And for credit unions, it's insured by the National Credit Union Share Insurance Fund. And high yield savings accounts offer a safe place to stash cash while earning interest. So those being FDIC improved definitely keeps your mind at ease knowing that your money won't magically disappear forever because a bank went to insolvency. Because with the insurance, even if a bank fails, you will have and keep your money. So overall, that's what really makes high yield savings account a good place to keep funds for emergencies, for large expenses, and even short term saving goals. It's a way for you to keep your money in a great place while it can at least grow in some manner or form outside of it just sitting under your bed and doing absolutely nothing. Now keep in mind that online banks typically also offer higher rates and better benefits on these type of accounts than compared to your national brick and mortars like Wells Fargo and so on and so forth. Online banks don't have the costs associated with brick and mortar institutions. They don't have to worry about um, costs for real estate or hiring a lot of employees as bank tellers or any of those things. So online banks definitely have a bit more of an advantage, especially coming to this. Now, obviously the APY interest this year is gonna be relatively low due to the pandemic, but I think it's important to understand the best deal that you can get as we continue on throughout this year and potentially next year before annual percentage yield percentages increase anytime soon. Remember, this is not an investment. This is purely a way for you to keep your money in somewhere that can matriculate in some way or form. Don't expect yourself to become a millionaire by keeping your money purely on a high yield savings account. $600? 
for millionaires. Yeah. Think of this as a process. It is a holding position where you can place your money before you can make it into an investment, whether it be in real estate, stocks, or a business idea that you may have. Now, without ado, let's talk about the banks. Here are the five banks that I think are worth investing into for a high yield savings account. Now, as of March 2021, the number one place to lock down your money on a high yield savings account is Live Oak Bank. Currently, they're doing a 0.6% APY with a zero dollar, zero dollar, zero dollar minimum opening deposit. It's also an online bank that's based out of Wilmington, North Carolina. It's existed since 2008, so it's fairly well established. And of course, it's FDIC insured as all of these banks will be in my video. Number two, VO Bank. VO Bank has a 0.57 annual percentage yield, but it does require a $100 minimum opening deposit. Now, this is the online division of the Mid First Bank, which is an FDIC insured bank since 1934. And VO Bank opened up in 2018. However, its parent is much more older and has a good reputation. Number three, Alliant Credit Union. An Alliant Credit Union has a 0.55 APY and a $100 minimum opening deposit. It's founded as a United Airlines Employers Credit Union initially. However, it does have some caveats, such as you must keep at least $5 in the account at all times for it to stay open and in order for you to gain interest and for you to keep at least $100 in it if you want to gain interest. Quantic Bank. Quantic Bank has 0.55 APY with a $100 minimum opening deposit. And lastly, number five, Ally Bank, which seems to be the most popular online bank outside of American Express, which has a 0.5 APY and a $0 minimum opening deposit. So those are the five banks that you can go to for the highest amount of annual percentage yields that's available to you right now with very little hurdles that's getting between you and where you can store your money before your next investment. There are some honorable mentions that I want to throw in and these are gonna be more of your mainstream banks that you're probably more familiar with. Number one is Marcus by Goldman Sachs. They currently have a 0.5 APY and a zero dollar minimum balance. Number two is Citi which has a 0.5 APY as well with a zero dollar minimum balance. And the last one that I also want to mention is the one that I'm currently using and that's American Express at 0.4% with a $1 opening balance. You may be asking why am I in American Express when it's the lowest? Well, personally for me, I'm very committed to American Express just because their customer service has served me phenomenally and that is a major point for me. And so that's why I like to just keep it there. Generally American Express during non-pandemic, <laughs> years tend to be on the higher end. I do remember that before the pandemic happened, Ally was one of the highest, but I haven't used them personally. With that, I hope you learned a little bit more about high yield savings account and how it can play into your process of investing and how your money can move from your checking to your savings account and then hopefully to an investment that you think is worthwhile. Anyway, I'll make more videos about this probably year by year to determine the best APYs that you can get as today this video was made on March 2021, just to date itself. But without further ado, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you find these videos helpful and valuable and please share it with others. All right, till next time, peace.